before showing images of polymer quadraria, I have two other pictures. The first one could have been taken at a concert of any of the big artists nowadays, with people behind the crowding fence. The second one is from 1969, from live, where people were going through the fence at the Woodstock Festival, forcing the organizers to make it a free concert. Polymicrogyria is like Woodstock, with an inadequate fence. Polymicrogyria is a malformation of cortical development with many different causes. It can be metabolic and it can be infectious. It's often seen in torch infections like cytomegalovirus. On MRI, there is abnormal cortex with many small convolutions, hence the term polymicrogyria. And there's a predilection for the periinsular region, as you can see on the transverse and sagittal T1 weighted image. This image that has been shown before shows the steps of cortical development. Proliferations of neurons and glial cells in the ventricular layer, migration of neurons along the radial glial cells towards the cortex, and then in the cortical plate the organization of the cortex takes place. And polymicrogyria is a post-migrational problem, so a problem with the organization of the cortex. On the outside of the cortical plate, you can see in this eight-week-old human embryo the marginal layer, which is formed by neurons that have migrated very early, among others cajal ratsi cells that have come in probably tangentially from the paleo sepalio border. And then there's a glial limiting membrane between the brain and the subarachnoid space. This is week 8 human, and this is gestational age of 26 weeks in a human. And this is the precentral cortex or the motor cortex, where you can see the marginal zone on the outside with the glial limiting membrane, the different cortical layers that have been formed from an inside out matter, and then there's the subplate below. In polymicrogyria, there is the glial limiting membrane, and that is insufficient, so there are gaps in it. And the neurons that are coming, migrating, go through these gaps and form the polymicrogyria. If the gaps are small, you get a typical polymicrogyria pattern. If the gaps are large, you get more of a cobblestone, listen carefully, type 2 pattern, as you can see in, for example, Walker Warbur or many other very rare syn syndromes. Because polymicrogyria is a post migratory disorder, the gray white matter interface is sharp. And sometimes in polymicrogyria, the molecular molecular zone of the different gyri might fuse, giving it the appearance of a thick cortex, but because of the sharp gray-white matter boundary, you can still distinguish it from pachygyria. And also, as a rule of thumb, in pachygyria, the cortex is even thicker, more than 8 millimeters, where in polymicrogyria, it's typical between 5 and 7 millimeters. Polymicrogyria can also be seen in schizencephaly, which we will discuss next time. Thanks for watching.